I'm CT. When I'm not hosting podcasts, I live in the real world. I mean, everybody's got to work, right? My job is CS, customer service, solutions, relationships, generating motivation to keep my team pumped up and always connected to every single guest who steps into that store to buy one thing or a full basket of things. This is CTCS, episode number 12, Body Slammed. Is it really that time already to check in with CS? To head into the most unpredictable day and way that I've ever had in my career, <laughs> I mean, at least in radio, you know, uh, you expected change, but you always knew what you were going to do that day along with that change. And and then to, to be, uh, at, at, you know, in the customer service department, uh, it's about locating solutions. I totally get that. But but what happens is, though, are the stories in between the solutions, it's 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 the drama, the journey, the questions, and and so that's why I ask: is is it that time already? I mean, I have three days off in a row, and then here it is. Here we go, because the next four days are going to be on my feet for ten to twelve hours, and 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 the body is already hurting so bad, so bad, and 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 the, and that's that's the thing that, that when I was in radio, I could hide my pain. I could go into a room and nobody would see it. Being in customer service, you can see my pain. And and they talked to me about it last week. They said, we can see you. We know you're in pain. We know you're in pain. Just getting inside the store. Uh, you know, you get to lay out of the playing field is what you get to do. You know, it's not like bowling where you get to throw a couple of balls down the lane, you know, to kind of warm up a bit. What you do is uh, you, you find yourself in a situation where it's like, okay, it's game day, game time. Put on your game face and let's rock. And right away I can tell there's something wrong with uh, checkout lane number five. Uh, it, I guess the scale is out because they're working on it. So that's going to be pretty tough to do because, you know, uh, this, this is the the uh, senior day and we get really super crowded on senior day. So when you're without a lane, uh, that means we're going to have lines. This is every bit the reason why I customer serve. And how are you doing today? Good, are you staying dry? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Out, so did, did, did it go real well over there with your... That's awesome. That's awesome. Great. Great. Well, thank you for because you, know, you guys were part of uh, donating the uh, to the nonprofit, right? Yeah. God dang! Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. The rise. Yeah. The rise and hope. Uh, hundred. Hundred. Hundred percent of profits uh, from from all the all the beer sold. Um, so we, we we basically brew the beer for all profits going to yeah. uh, Pediatric Cancer Foundation, and then um, for the whole month of October, uh, a, a portion of Mountain Candy sales yeah. uh, go to. Uh, American Cancer Society. Oh my God! So, yeah, so we're give, kinda, give, give. we're kind of tag teaming in October, man. It's been it's been great. It's been awesome. I love it, man. Yeah. I love it. Well, go home. Yeah, go rest. Time, TT. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> this is every reason why I love to customer serve. Miss Vicky calls up frantic on the phone, and she's trying to figure out how she can get a debit card, some sort of card, so she can get some supplements that that uh, have to be purchased uh, uh, over over the, the web and stuff like that. So she's frantic, and, and so I sat there and I listened to her, and I you know, help her along the way of that what she's looking for is a gift card, not necessarily a debit card. And and so, but but what she did was she traveled clear across the city to come over and just basically uh, get it from me. And and the reason why is because I was one the one that actually took the time to talk with her. And when she got here, you know, I learned a lot about Miss Vicky and and about how she has to have these supplements because of because of things that have gone wrong. Wrong with with time and age and things like that, but you know it's like discovering a brand new friend, or maybe you know even how about this? Is it a brand new friend or is it a friend from the past that your paths are crossed again? I thought the turnover in radio was pretty fast. You know, people come in, they go, they come in again, they go. People come in, they go. Uh, man, in in the grocery store business, I mean, the turnaround is 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 just as fast. I mean, you've got you've got new cashiers. Uh, they come, they physically go through what it what's required of them, and it is a physical job. You're lifting and you're moving at all times. And then about one or two weeks, they're gone. And so when, when I see a cashier graduate to CS, customer service, um, I, that, you know, that's, that's one of our children. Uh, they're, they're growing up is what they're doing. So uh, to have this, this guy up there learning the ropes and being very patient and everything like that and listening to people and creating those solutions and stuff, it was very nice to see. Um, can, I, can I be honest with you? It was nice to see how those in CS have, have inspired him because you could see his actions and reactions were actually like, like the rest of us. 
Oh my God, my body is killing me. My waist down. You know, we, we, we watch these, these videos on how we're supposed to pick things up and how we're not supposed to stretch out and stuff. Um, and, you know, obviously I, 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 I did something that really is, um, it hurts. This is, this is like really sharp pains, my hips, my hips, and it goes down into my legs. And it's like, it's like, I just, I just want to go stretch like we do in Taekwondo. It's very, you know, you're walking along and all of a sudden, blah, 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 blah. it's almost like there's a muscle spasm and you're just going, oh my God, you know what, what, what's hitting me? Oh God, please. Oh, somebody forgot to order more planters peanuts. I am listening to the conversation on, on the headset, and uh, um, they're saying, we're going to be out before the night is over. You, who, who doesn't have planter's peanuts? <laughs> I just wanted to raise my hand and say, us? <laughs> it's, it's, it's an odd feeling. It takes anywhere between four and a half to five hours, six hours sometimes it's happened, uh, to get to your, your lunch break, your dinner break. Stumbling along, Mr. Hop along Cassidy here with a body that's aching like hell. And uh, you get back here and, th- you know, you get 30 minutes. And, and once your 30 minutes are up, then you, you got to go back. Well, when, when you're hurting like I am, that 30 minutes of sitting down, dude, you just got to start all over again. All, all of your adrenaline is gone. You got you to pump up your system again. And I really didn't eat. I spent all my time making sure that my my interviews for next week were completely booked. There's people that want me to give things away on the podcast, and and, and you just you just sit there and you do you go from one business right into another business. And <sighs> oh boy, the infamous 12 pack of Coke falls to the floor, smash, boom, pow, sprays like old faithful, and it's going everywhere, and it's our job in CS to go clean it up, but man, I gotta be honest with you, it was pretty darn cool, to, I heard the thunk, I turned around, and it was like, whoosh, it was just, <laughs> my god, it's a, always an exciting moment. This guy just walks in, he, uh, he has balloons and I mean he's going to self checkout. He's got like maybe 15 20 shark balloons. Shark balloons. And and I go baby shark party what's going on here? He says no 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 no. My my, my company's being featured on on Shark Tank tonight. We're all going to get together and 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 we're going to watch it on TV. I said god dang. Dude, I I just read about this in 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 the Observer. I said holy crap. I said I am so proud of you guys. I mean I mean you you guys have a product. I said, I can't watch it tonight, but I'll, I'll watch it this weekend because I've got, I've got Hulu and stuff. But, and he goes, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm in the promotions department. This, this, this is big for us. And I was like, God, I talked to so many famous people. Uh, it's a blessing, but somebody that's featured on Shark Tank from an everyday average, we, we created this project. My God, that was like a, a John Lennon moment for me. So this is how the evening is going to end. And uh, this <laughs> preteen, a pre-teenager, walks up to me at, at CS and, and she looks at me, she's very frustrated. Preteen, very frustrated. And, and I go, so how can I help you? Are you in charge of the music? And I said, no, I'm not in charge of the music. I said, do you like it? And it's contemporary music. I mean, it's U2, it's, it's, you know, it's Lindsey Buckingham, very contemporary. And she goes... I, I need to find out who's in charge of this music because this music really sucks. And every time I come in here, the music just sucks in here. It's okay. <laughs> Fully noted, man. 